Hello everyone and welcome to the Crypto Session Brief. We're on Monday the 13th of June 2022. It's not been a pretty day so far in crypto world. Uh, in fact, across all the risk assets, you've been seeing some incredibly sharp moves to the downside since the open, uh, following on from Friday's sell-off as well. Uh, all because of the hotter than expected print that we got out of the US on Friday uh, with the inflation and also Thursday's ECB, which uh, was pretty hawkish and um, basically the ECB warning of an economic slowdown. So now worries that, uh, of course, that's going to be the case in the US as well. And how will the Fed be able to react to all of this? Markets now starting to price in a 75 basis points hike this week in the FOMC meeting. Whether or not they deliver on that, but that's now seemingly what markets are suggesting may be required. Um, as uh, despite core inflation moving higher, the main um, that the main one, the headline, uh, which is uh, including, of course, the likes of uh, gasoline prices of so, uh, uh, fuel at the pump. And also food prices, so they're more volatile, but nevertheless, they are still rising and um, that is a cause for concern. So everyone thought inflation had peaked and was starting to come down, but now you've just seen that move higher again, 8.8% on the uh, headline. Um, where do we go from here then with uh, with risk assets? Well, you've been seeing some really sharp moves to the downside here on uh, cryptos, maybe exasperated by some concerns out of the Celsius network. Uh, which is uh, which is um, basically had to suspend all withdrawals from its platform. So that's just uh, sending some more um, sort of uh, ripples, let's say, through the crypto world and adding to the to, to, to the risk off effect. Over the past hour, you have seen a little bit of a bounce. You can see on Ethereum here, top right. Um, over the past hour or so, you've seen that bounce off of 1200 handle probably say that 1200 is going to be key moving forward but i don't really have too much in the way of support between 12 and then down around a thousand but even 880 so around uh, around here 12 uh, 1200 but then down uh, the next one will be uh, i'll be talking down at um a uh, thousand round number handle but more 880 which was where there was a previous support level uh, so ethereum now down around um 17 so it's now at its lowest price since january of 20 2021 so if you invested in january of 2021 you would now be uh you'd now be breaking even unless you were unless you'd already taken some profits um so that's ethereum bitcoin uh bitcoin smashed below that um uh below the range lows we've been in this consolidated area for a while starting to get some inside bars we had two inside bars in a row and then smash we Broke through th uh, the thirty thousand handle, and then I'd said on Friday, if we get a uh, an ugly looking, um, if we get an ugly looking inflation number, this may be what gives uh, forces uh, uh, the market to give way, uh, and that's certainly been the case. A daily close below twenty seven thousand, and now today you've seen quite, you've seen one of them typical uh, Bitcoin. Uh, highly volatile days where you have that huge range. Uh, I don't think we've seen a range like this. In fact, probably well, uh, we have maybe this one here that was start of May. But then again, you'd be going all the way back till um, till March of this year, or even back there in um, back in January of, of this year, since we've seen uh, a daily range of the size of this. And this is before the main volume comes online in the US. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how US markets react to the sell-off so far in Europe and in uh, and in Asia. Um, just reading on here as well, just as uh, we were talking 16 minutes ago, that there's been a temporary pause of Bitcoin withdrawals on Binance due to a stuck transaction, which is causing a backlog, uh, saying that um, this is from the CEO. So he's saying that the funds are safe, but it just goes to show um, once all this volatility hits the crypto world, uh, there do seem to be a few things which uh, which start racking up and, and they got one on Binance. So um, that's BTC. Where do we go from here? 24,000 is my support handle here currently. Uh, and then, uh, and that's because that was the high down there, as you can see back in uh, back in 2020, late 2020. Uh, from there, though, all the way down to 21,000 is where I'll be looking. Uh, it's interesting to see that micro strategy um, shares have been slumping today as well. Remember, micro strategy has vowed to never sell any of the approximately 130,000 Bitcoin it has in possession. Question is whether a margin call will force the firm's hand. So micro strategy down 20% so far today. I'll post that article, in fact, inside the chat room right now. 
which came through via uh, via Morningstar. So you can read about that inside the uh, inside the Cryptos chat room, guys. Um, so that's BTC. Uh, Litecoin has been doing a, a waterfall pattern. Obviously, I'm not serious with that, but nevertheless, it is resembling somewhat of a red waterfall right now. Uh, after holding a pretty important level at 61, around 61.60, uh, that's completely given way. And then you just had lower close after lower close for the past five days in a row now. So absolutely ugly price action. Great if you're trading breakouts both ways, obviously to the downside in this particular case, trailing by previous daily highs, for example, because you'd be very much well in the money now all the way down from uh, 62, 63. Last but not least, let's look at Ripple, which has also been seeing another leg lower, as you can see, breaking its most recent correction low. Ripple had been holding up better than a few of the other cryptos as of late, but it's not been able to uh, hold up during, uh, during this correlation where everything has gone to one all of a sudden. Uh, I'm talking the correlation, everything has gone to one. 0.1371 is where we're at on Ripple right now. Have bounced off one of my support levels at 30 cents. Uh, albeit, again, let's see where the US sees these prices and if they're going to push markets even lower. Now, remember, heading into Fed week. So, big week for markets. In fact, Fed highlight on Wednesday, but also Bank of England on Thursday. We've got the Swiss National Bank too, I think, tomorrow. Um, I think that's it from mine, guys. I won't ramble on any further. Take care out there. Stay safe and happy trading. Bye for now.